Hi everybody, not poor bad here. Welcome to my menu. So today we're just going to talk maybe a little bit about uh, supplies, crafting materials here and stuff. Um, how to get them, I guess you could say. How to keep up to make sure you actually have enough. <laughs> Let's see, I'm starting to run low here on uh, efficient. Um, in any of the four zones, I guess you could call them, um, what I found was you could get tier four mats just about anywhere. Uh, well, not just about anywhere, but I mean, you could do keep stock of them real easy. The moment you got into Canny Valley, you usually were pretty good. You could, of course, not in a lower Canny, but once you got your endurance open, you just run your endurance. And Canny Endurance drops tier four mats. So you just, the more you run it, the more you can collect stuff. Now, it's always been for me, anyhow, powder and um, twine. I've always been lower on them, eh? Like on the on the tier four, tier four twine, or even three or two. It was always a little harder to get the twine. Tier five is terrible. You just gotta go farm in a forest. That's all, and the powder, eh? But tier three, yeah, it wasn't so bad. Two and one, well, yeah, you don't really use tier one material that much, but I've got a lot of it. <laughs> um, nuts and bolts, a little bit when I was at earlier on yeah sure I had uh, troubles finding them well not finding them but keeping them in and then same with planks but I don't anymore although I am kind of it looks like a lot here but really this is a whole there's a whole endurance base sitting in my inventory here and then sometimes with the ores yes you'd have trouble keeping them around So I was just going to talk about how to keep stock. There's a couple things. You can come into here, do your expeditions here. We'll roll all the way down to the bottom, see if we can find the good one, which we can't see. There's the, the red toolbox anyway, wherever it is. This one with the red toolbox. That's always the best one to pick for resources. But you don't get tier 5 material doing expeditions though, so that kind of sucks. So we'll just pick this one, see what else we can find in here. Oh, I won't do that one actually. Maybe we'll do this one. Air C. These are the same. Maybe we'll try this one. I just pick random heroes that you don't really use. Mm, let's put you in here, how's that? 89%, that's not too bad. It's better if you have the bonus or something, you know. If it's got a slot bonus, that really helps. But that's how I keep up sometimes. I use, I'll do expeditions once in a while. I used to do a lot more when I was lower levels. Not so much now. Tier 5 mats, right? I don't really need to use lower level mats as much. I mean, when I'm playing missions, I will. But if you're really, like, short on material, take yourself in here. Go do this mission. You'd be surprised what you'll find in there. I mean, do the whole thing. Like if you're learning lower on batteries, you know, or even quartz and stuff like that, and, and anything really, nuts and bolts and stuff. I've went through an encampment mission and picked up almost a hundred batteries, and it was an encampment mission in Stonewood. When you go to an encampment and you do it and you get 36 batteries, holy man, you know. Then you go through the rest and you find one or two more that are like that. It's just kind of, I don't know, I don't think they're all set in stone what they give you. I've never doubled up or tripled up on a mission to check, you know, if you still get the same rewards from the encampments, but I would imagine they're random. You know, and then same thing, if you can find a, a radar tower, go do a radar tower mission as well. Those give lots of rewards from the radars. Sometimes they're, they're only the tier mats you're in, you know, like here maybe we'll only get tier 3 or something, but still, what happens if you got uh, a 
quest to do like I do here. We've got save 50 survivors, park seesaws, and do missions as a soldier. Well, I don't play as a soldier almost ever. So then if I'm going to do that, I'm going to go in here in Stonewood. I'm going to find some boring mission. <laughs> Not boring, no. It's never boring, actually. But I'll, you know what I mean, though. Just find some lower level mission that has no point. Well, not no point, but I mean, doesn't really, the rewards here are, there's nothing. There's some tickets, sure, you know, and some schematic experience, but you're sure not going to get a lot when you're 133, compared to what you could do when you're twine, right? And go do your dailies. Go run around. Like, if you see a encampment mission here or something, you could get good rewards from it. I mean, it's the, it's, we're not talking leveling up or anything, I'm talking about stuff in your backpack here. This kind of stuff, if you're ever low on things. I mean, if you run lots and lots of endurance, you should never be low on any of these parts. As long as you're in Canny Valley endurance, then you should be good for anything like this. Plankerton's really good for the Tier 3, and Stonewood for Tier 2, and Tier 1, well, no, don't really use Tier 1 mats a lot. You know, and the same with these. The rotating gizmos, I mean, you get them from endurance, they just drop them all the time. Endurance will drop twine and stuff too, but that resets all the time. And the same goes for my ammunition. I mean, that I never craft ammo. Where's my storage? My ammo's here. I always keep some in stock. I'll craft once in a blue moon, but not very often. I just run around your endurance when it's going on and pick ammo. That's where I get all my energy ammo from. I only keep one stack of all this. Not even, actually. I don't even keep shells in stock. I just keep shotguns. One stack of shotguns and a bunch of rockets. <clears throat> That's if you feel like messing around with a rocket launcher. I wonder what's in the shop today. I've got to hide. All the llamas, eh? What kind of bow is that? Ew. Another Huskbuster? Oh, ew. I wouldn't buy it anyway. I already have like four. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I do for my my materials and resupply missions and stuff as well. Like, I mean, if you're going to go in twine and you're, say, only power level 100 or something and you think, oh my god, I can't get in the high level missions to do them over here, but you have some unlocked. If you do notice, I can't show you in here. I'd have to go on my other account, but I have all of this locked. All of this is locked and this is all locked down here, but there'll be the odd mission that isn't. Like, this one might not be locked for me, you know, in the resupply here. Like, there's no mission rewards here. But you're still going to get bright core, you see? And I mean, if your 124 should be high enough to give you a fair amount of tier 6 material, or 5, sorry. Um, if you're looking for twine and all that, right? Because it's a forest, and I did say I was low. I don't really have a lot, like, at all. I have a little bit in storage, I think. I don't even know if I have twine in storage. Now I gotta look. I got a bit, half a stack. Sure, it beats my other reserves I have here. I have lots. I've been doing lots of canny lately and stuff, so that's where this is all coming from. Maybe usually you can find some with mission alerts as well. I don't think there is any today. These ones are a little tougher if you're going to do them. But that's what these missions are for. Resupplies, keep your stock up. Make sure when you go in there though that you go through here and you make sure you're not full on any of this metal and brick anyways. That's how I do it. I put them in my storage. And then I'm always picking metal and stuff because you got to have some of them you smash vehicles, some you smash like, trees, you know, so you can stock up on mats and crafting materials that way as well. Like here's one with an alert. Oh, this one's got epic for reward. Hey, look at that. Well, we're going to do this one. And then same thing, if, if you're in a resupply, do the encampments as you run past them, even though they're small. Hey, one of them might throw you 30 batteries or something. You never know search everything. That's why it's called a resupply mission. So we're going to go in here anyways. So 
I'm sure I'm not going to bore you guys with this. So, um, If you need to know how to do a resupply mission, i got a video out on it. So, Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day.